Good morning everyone, starting my weekly vlog on a Thursday this week um, because I haven't really been up to much, well I had that photo shoot on Monday but I was not allowed to film or take photos or anything so I couldn't bring you guys along but that will be out the end of October and I'm sure I will share it on my Twitter or Instagram or something which is at Lily Pebbles. So today I'm just going to stay at home and do some work, I've got a lot of work to catch up on but then tonight is the launch of Zoe's beauty range so it's the Zoella beauty launch and yeah I'm really excited to see everyone and see what it looks like and I think it will be a fun event so I'm going to bring you guys along to that. First breakfast time. Mm. Time to go to the post office to collect all my parcels and they're just going to have to deal with my face. Right, I'm going to try to paint my nails whilst working because I need them to dry and be alright ready for tonight. I don't know what colour to do though because I don't know what I'm going to wear. And this is what I've got to choose from, it's a bit ridiculous. Um, always attracted to the blues but I feel like my nails are always blue maybe I'll do a dark colour right, I'm going to go for this one which is Essie after school boy blazer which is like a dark navy blue this is what it looks like it kind of looks nearly black I did pretty well apart from that nail smudged a little bit which is a bit annoying but you won't be able to see. Right I think I'm going to do my makeup now so I can take a photo of it for my blog but also have my makeup done ready for tonight. I still don't know what I'm going to wear but I can do my makeup. So I'm just opening my blinds. First step the new Burberry Fluid Foundation. I had the shade Honey which was a bit too dark for me so I've got the shade um, 26 Beige and I think this should be better. It's a really nice foundation but I'm still kind of testing it out so I'm sure it will pop up in a video if I decide I really like it. I think it's really nice. I've been using this Bobbi Brown brush as well and I'm quite liking quite natural foundations at the moment because then even if I have blemishes still I then use my concealer to get rid of those but I like quite a natural base. I've also been using this Real Techniques brush a lot with the Chanel Vitalumia Loose Powder Foundation just to like set things, you can't really see, but just to set my foundation a little bit and add a tiny bit more coverage if I need it. This is another product I've been loving, the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Highlight Kit. It's just the perfect shade of contour and the perfect highlight and it comes in the cutest little packaging. Okay, I think I'm going to use this Tom Ford palette which is the Cognac Sable one and it has four really nice shades. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the glittery one but I'm definitely going to use these three. And then I think because it's like a brown smoky eye I can always decide later whether I want a bold lip or just something neutral. So this is what it looks like just with the three shades, so I might add a little bit of sparkle just to make it a little bit more interesting and maybe some black eyeliner. I've done black eyeliner but it's definitely not equal, but oh well, I'm not starting again. Okay, I think I'm done, I'm going to leave the eyes and face there and I might put on a bright or dark red or something lip tonight, but I'm going to leave it now for the rest of the day. I'm just popping out because I need to get a few bits, I need to print some photos and I'm going to meet my mum for a quick bite to eat for lunch. I also might look in Zara and Topshop to see if there's anything to wear to Zoe's thing tonight. I mean I was going to go really casual, you guys know I dress casual in jeans and boots like all the time. But everyone else seems to be dressing up so I might have a quick look. If something catches my eye then I might try it on but if not I'll just wear my normal clothes. I'm sure no one will mind. some work that I really needed to catch up on and I was just trying on the leather skirt that I got from River Island I don't know if you saw when I was vlogging I got this like leather skirt oh, it's kind of hard to see let me lay it down so it's like that's quite high-waisted and it comes just above the knee and I was trying it on with this shirt maybe to wear tonight and it's kind of different to what I normally wear but I quite like it and I've just tweeted and Literally everyone replied saying yes they liked it, which is a very rare occasion, so I guess I'll keep it. I'm feeling a bit weird now, I'm being very unproductive and just finding it hard to like process things in my brain. I can't explain what I mean, so I think I'm going to go sit down and have a cup of tea, because I feel a little bit like funny 
I'm glad I'm driving tonight. Mm, I'm not feeling good today. I don't know why. I feel really like cold and weird. I was just watching Lisa Eldridge's new um. You can't see her. There you go. She did like a facial facial massage video and I fell asleep. It's a really good video but I'm really tired and it's like ten past six so I've got to get ready for Zoe's thing. I'm definitely still going to go um, and hopefully it will cheer me up. So I think I might wear this new skirt that I got. See it's really high waisted um, and I might just wear this like Topshop t-shirt but I have this massive bruise on my leg. Look, uh, so I'm going to try use <laughs> secret camouflage to cover it. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work but I'm going to try my best. Nope, didn't work, so um, I'm just going to have to leave my bruise there, but you know, we're all human. We have bruises, it's fine. Okay, so I think I am ready, I've just touched up my makeup a little bit. This is what I'm wearing. Now, it's far too cold to be wearing bare legs, I think, it's freezing, but I'm always... Oh my god, I have like all my boots shopping in the background. Sorry for that mess over there. Um, I'm always kind of look at girls who have bare legs and think how come they can get away with bare legs and I'm always cold so I thought just tonight see as I'm driving I'm just gonna do the bare leg thing and I don't know be brave so I'm wearing the leather skirt from River Island top shop top and other stories necklace I think my accurist watch and my Steve Madden boots to make it kind of less smart because you know I'm scared of looking smart I'm a very casual person so I always like to make skirts and dresses look more casual by wearing flat boots with them so I'm going to go now. As I said, I'm going to drive. I'm looking forward to a nice drive and some music and singing. And I'll vlog when I'm there. I probably won't do talky vlog because I just want to kind of enjoy it. But I'll definitely film some stuff and show you guys the new beauty range and stuff. This spider has lived outside my house for weeks now. Can you see it? And it's right in between. So every time I walk through, I go through its web and it's freaking me out. Lesson number one. It's really hard to sit down in a car in a leather skirt. Eesh. like cool and fashionably late and it took me like no time at all to get here and I'm like nearly there and I'm 10 minutes early still. So uncool. And I'm here with Melia yeah. and Este. Um, so, yeah, that's that for tonight. I'll probably vlog when I get home. Bye. So, I'm home now, and I had such a nice evening. I'm so, so happy for Zoe. I think everyone in that room, you could just feel that everyone was really proud of her. And yeah, she's just such a lovely girl. Her range is really cool. I just got home. The leather skirt went down well. I think next time I might wear a little bit of talcum powder, if you know what I'm saying? A bit awkward, but. Or like friend Ross. Yeah. Exactly, I was like, I'm not going to the toilet. <laughs> no way, I'll never get it back on. <laughs> um, <laughs> we were given this um, little goodie bag as well, so I thought I'd show you what's inside. It's a nice little bag, it says Zoella. And inside is this little, so she has two makeup bags, all like pencil cases. This is one, it has her eyes on it, it says Zoella. Very cute, and like I like how it's like wipeable. And then I also got, that's like a body mist. I love the packaging. It looks like it's rose gold with polka dots. It's called Blissful Mistful. And it smells sweet, really nice. And then this one is, I thought this was really clever. This is a fizz bar. Oh, focus, focus. Um, so instead of like a bath bomb, it's like a bar that you break up and it fizzes in your bath. And I'm really looking forward to using this because I do love a good bath. So yeah, really excited to try those products and now I'm going to get ready for bed and today I watched Lisa Eldridge's new video which I'm going to link below. It's a 20 minute long video about how she gives herself how she gives herself a facial massage and it's amazing. So I'm going to go to the bathroom now. Rich, I might be a while, 20 minutes maybe. And that's that for today. I think I'm going to wait until the weekend to vlog. We have no plans but we're going to have to make plans because otherwise this is going to be a really boring vlog. Rich is putting his thumb up. That means yay to fun plans. 
And can you help me I've film? Got plans. You've got plans. What are we doing? Secret. Secret? Woohoo! Good morning, it's Saturday and I just woke up and had to straighten my hair because I slept with it wet and I woke up with it looking like this, which was just sort of a little bit hilarious. Um, I don't know what we're doing today, but I'm just going to get up and go do my little morning skincare routine. I'm going to use this, which is the Oskia Renaissance Cleanser and maybe some of this Chanel Hydra Beauty Serum and this First Aid Beauty Moisturiser. I'm also really hungry, I need some breakfast. Okay, I'm ready and we're off and it's feeling very autumnal today. I've got my Whistles cashmere jumper what? out that I haven't worn in a year and I have my jacket on and I've got dark kind of, this is MAC Plumful lipstick and I've got nice kind of purpley eyes. I'm feeling very like it's all to me now. Um, we don't really know what we're gonna do. We've been trying to decide what to do with today. But I think we've decided on Spitalfields Market, which is like East London way. Because we kind of have stuff that we need to get and there are shops around there but I don't really want to go to Westfield and stay inside today so we're going to go have a look around Spitalfields. Right, we're in East London, the land of the cool people. I've already seen two girls walking along with yoga mats. Um, this is where all the cool people hang so out. That's cool. Yeah. Um, we're actually going to find a cafe called Trade. Friends of ours own it. They started it a little while back and we haven't even been yet. Um, it's on Commercial Street if anyone wants to visit. We're going to go and have some lunch because I'm getting hangry. Any Londoners will understand the pain of parking. The signs are so confusing. This one says, yeah. it says Monday to Friday and then Eight. Sunday. So does that mean you can park on a Saturday? I reckon we're getting a ticket because that's just London for what? you. And it will be £80 as well, the ticket, just in case any of you don't know about London parking prices. But it's just terrible parking. I feel like you're not in. I'm in. Right, let's go get some food. <laughs> Look guys, this shows how clever marketing is. Coke have made a new Coke that says natural sugars. Rich never ever drinks Coke. And he came back from the shop with a Coke. This is why we studied marketing. I find that hilarious. That a new green packaging and something that says natural on it can make a health freak like Rich buy Coke. Very funny. We're now in Kensington and we're off to find Whole Foods. Oh my god, I just walked past Guru Makeup Emporium. I had no idea they had a store. They've only been open for a couple of months. And I went in and they have all this amazing stuff that you can't find in the UK. They have makeup forever. And this other brand, I always see this YouTuber use this amazing matte eyeshadow palette. I'm going to show you what I got when I get back in the car. Right, we're going into Whole Foods. Yeah, I knew there'd be pumpkins. Look. This is the coconut water I was talking about when I said I didn't like beets cocoa. This one's much nicer. Right, I'm going to give these a go for breakfast. And we're done. I love the paper bag. These are so American, don't you think? American. What are we doing now? Going home. Oh, I knew that would happen. Let's go home and have a nap. I'm tired. Let's go for a run. No! <laughs> yes, exercise. Rich thinks he's American walking along holding his paper Whole Foods bag under his arm. Right, I want to show you guys what I got from Guru Makeup Emporium. I'm so excited. So this girl that I follow on YouTube, I can't remember her name at the moment, she's Australian. I'm going to link her below this video. She always uses this palette. I mean, she's a makeup artist, she needs it, I definitely don't. It's by a brand called Viseart or Viseart, or I don't really know. But it's this palette, and let me open it. So it's a palette that has uh, two, four, six, eight, 12 shades in it, and they're all matte. 
So I think it's really good if you, I use a lot of matte eyeshadows. It's got some really nice kind of warm orangey ones and a few cooler taupes and like bluey tones. And yeah, I've always loved the look of this palette so I'm really excited that I found it. And they're really, really good quality shadows. I was testing them out and whenever she uses them in videos, they look great. I also got a couple of these mini biodermas, one for me and one for my mum, because the, this size, the tiny mini ones, are really hard to find in the UK. Um, and they're really good for traveling, so I got a couple of those. All right, home we go. Yep. Home we go. Ooh. So I'm home now and I've already got into my pajamas um, because I just want to be comfy and it's cold out. The boys, my dad and Rich basically, are watching the football match. It's Arsenal Tottenham today and we're big Arsenal fans in my house. So I think I'm going to grab my laptop, go downstairs, make a hot drink, get cosy and just kind of chill out in the lounge whilst they watch the football. I think we're staying in tonight with my parents and we're going to make a spaghetti vongole which is like really nice garlicky spaghetti with clams. Um, it's a dish that we all really like so I'm looking forward to that. My mum went to get fresh clams um, from somewhere in town and we're going to watch X Factor as well. So I'm looking forward to a night in but I'm not sure if it's very interesting to vlog so I might end the vlog. Although I've only shown two days in this vlog which is shorter than normal but hopefully there's kind of enough stuff that made it interesting for you guys to watch. Next week is going to be a really busy week. I am meeting up with Tanya and Anna on Monday and me and Anna have a Google chat in the afternoon and then on Tuesday I'm going to Manchester with Anna for the day and Wednesday night I'm going to like a Lush event and staying the night in a hotel and Friday night I'm getting my makeup done by this YouTuber and she's gonna film me for her channel and there's loads going on so I think next week will be a really busy one actually um, so that will be up next Thursday I'm thinking about changing the day that I upload my vlogs let me know what you guys think I normally upload them on a Thursday but then they're for the week before and I feel like Thursday is quite late because I always finish vlogging on like a Sunday and then I don't upload till Thursday so if you'd prefer me to upload my vlogs on a Tuesday let me know I'm very flexible with what days I upload my videos um, I don't really mind but it's normally kind of Sunday Tuesday or Thursday or all three so yeah I'm gonna go downstairs and get comfy but hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog and I'll be vlogging again from Monday to upload next week so have a great week ahead all of you and yeah see you then bye Thank you.